I give the floor to the representative of Algeria. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to thank all the Council members for their flexibility and the constructive way that allowed us today to adopt this long-awaited resolution. A resolution that calls for an immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip in order to put an end to the massacres that unfortunately are still ongoing over the past five years, five months. Over the past five months, the Palestinian people has suffered greatly. This bloodbath has continued for far too long. It is our obligation to put an end to this bloodbath before it is too late. Finally, finally, the Security Council is shouldering its responsibility as the primary organ responsible for maintaining international peace and security. It is finally responding to the calls of the international community. These repeated calls, not only from the international community, but also from the Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres. And once again, we renew our support to the Secretary General for his noble position and for his support to this just cause. Despite the heinous campaigns that were launched against him, Mr. President, when we voted on the draft resolution tabled by Algeria last month, we promised that we will spare no effort. We will continue to work hard to make sure that the Security Council is abiding by its full responsibility. We also promised that we will come back once again to knock on the doors of the Security Council. And here we are today alongside all 10 elected member states to convey a clear message to the Palestinian people. This message is as follows. The international community in its entirety did not abandon you, feels your suffering. It did not abandon you. Mr. President, adopting today's resolution is only the beginning to meet the aspirations of the Palestinian people.
we look forward to the commitment and the compliance of the Israeli occupying power with this resolution for them to put an end to the bloodbath without any conditions to end the suffering of the Palestinian people. It is the responsibility of the Security Council to ensure the implementation of the provisions of this resolution. In conclusion, Mr. President, I reaffirm that Algeria will return once again before the Security Council under the instructions of His Excellency, the President of the Republic, to make sure that Palestine returns to its natural status as a full-fledged member, a sovereign member state of the United Nations. I thank you. I thank the representative of Algeria for their statement.